Officials from both sides are working overtime to ensure that Friday's inter-Korean summit concludes without a hitch, right from how and when Kim Jong-un will cross over into South Korea to the exact time of his much-hyped handshake with Moon Jae-in. Everything is carefully being looked into. But how do the people look at Kim Jong-un? Ramesh Ramachandran reports from Seoul. Is Kim Jong-un really a madman? Or is there a method to his madness? The answer depends on who one speaks to. In South Korea, opinion is divided. Some people believe and support that Kim Jong-un has opened channels of communication with other countries on denuclearization. Others seem to not trust him. I think many, many Korean people uh, don't trust Kim Jong-un yet. Because uh, uh, for a couple of years, he, he did something, the mad things. That's why many people don't trust yet. But uh, from this year, he changed his mind. And that's why um, so we are looking forward to it as much as I have made a big decision this year. However, some in Japan view Kim Jong-un as a mysterious person, someone with an image problem. The Kim Jong-un uh, has slept, slept the Japanese by launching a missile last year, a lot of time. So, uh, in my opinion, uh, he's uh, just a little mysterious or uh, I don't know uh, he's, uh, why, why he's launching a missile uh, repeatedly. So very recently, uh, the Togo, the Togo uh, has, has just started. So they think uh, the, the, uh, the image to Kim Jong-un is gradually uh, changing. Uh, he is a very strategic prospect, person or not. And just later, um, uh, change, I think the uh, image is now rather changing. On Tuesday, the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe spoke to the South Korean President Moon Jae-in about the North Korean crisis. Japan has not ruled out talks with North Korea. It might depend on whether or how successful the next big summit between Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un turns out to be. With Ramesh Ramachandran in Seoul, Amitabh Brevi, Vyond.